swear it feels like the only thing I film these days outside of get ready with me's are hauls and that's exactly what I've got today another haul I'm gonna kick this off with two t-shirts that I recently picked up. I've been talking about Tea Turtle for a very long time now. <laughs> well, especially during COVID because I keep buying their t-shirts because they just have really cute designs. Um, and they had a few more rainbow selections uh, this past month, so I decided to snap them up. The first one here from Tea Turtle is, I can't remember what this was called exactly. I think it was like Lick the Rainbow or something like that. Obviously it's a spinoff of like uh, taste the rainbow from the Skittles commercial. I don't even know if that's still their slogan anymore, but it was a big thing when I was a kid. Anyway, this is the cute little unicorn who is just sticking his tongue out and tasting the rainbow. And then this other one here, this one was just too perfect to pass up, okay? <laughs> I'm not as in love with unicorns as I used to be when I was like very young, we're talking like, I don't know, five years old through maybe 10, maybe even a little bit later, I was obsessed with unicorns. Unicorns were my life. I had unicorn wallpapers, unicorn stuffed animals, unicorns, unicorns, unicorns. As I grew older, uh, I became less about unicorns and more about rainbows. However, this shirt has another unicorn on it, <laughs> but it says glitter is my favorite color. And honestly, if I had a slogan, <laughs> it would probably be that. So this is just a little unicorn with a rainbow over top of it where it's like, the, rain, um, the rainbow is being painted by the unicorn and just glitter is my favorite color. It absolutely is my favorite color. Unfortunately, I picked these up when they were at full price. Tea Turtle almost always does sales, but I saw these and I was like, I have to get them. Like, I, I don't want to wait for a 50% off sale, so I snapped them up. Of course, the very next week, every single one of their t-shirts was on sale for half off. <laughs> and I was pretty pissed off at myself. I mean, they're only 25 bucks American, which is not that bad, but when I could get them for 12 dollars $25 doesn't seem that great. So anyway, I paid full price for these. I routinely buy them full price, half price usually. Um, they're great t-shirts, they last forever. I've been wearing them nonstop since I've been inside during quarantine, COVID whatever we want to call this timeline um, and they're fantastic they're soft they feel good i buy the women's large and they're just great my friend julie gave me a few things um she got me a like pride rainbow bouquet which is in the other room i'm not gonna pull it out to show you but um she definitely has my number because she knows exactly what to buy me she's like you're the easiest person to buy for i just buy anything with rainbows glitter or cats and honestly yeah I'm sold any one of those things and uh, I will love the present. So she grabbed me this gorgeous Starbucks tumbler. <laughs> I'm just in awe of it. This thing is stunning. And if you rotate it around, you just see more colors of the rainbow. And if you look, I don't know if, how much is gonna show on camera, but if you look through here, it's like a prismatic rainbow. It's so freaking pretty. And plus the straw, also rainbow-esque. It's so gorgeous. Um, she had bought me, a tumbler I think for Christmas and it became it was from David's tea and it became like my use everyday type tumbler and I wasn't really somebody who like carried one around at home all the time but I've really gotten into carrying around my water constantly in a tumbler and this is gonna be like my new favorite because it's so freaking pretty it's so funny because it's not standing out that much because I'm wearing a rainbow and my tree is rainbow but this thing is super vibrant it's gorgeous and then she had read a book um, that she quite liked and decided to pass it on to me. Well, actually she was gonna go put it in one of those little like uh, neighborhood library things. And I was like, oh, well that sounds interesting. I'll just buy it myself. And she was like, well, since I was gonna put it in the neighborhood library, why don't you just take it? So this is Dear Evan Hansen. I believe they're turning it into, is it either a movie or a musical already? Um, it's basically a coming of age story. So it takes place during high school. Um, about some teens. I don't exactly remember the entire storyline that she described it to me, but it did sound interesting. And because she was handing away basically like a hardcover book, I was like, yeah, I'll take that off your hands. I'm pretty snobby when it comes to books. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't like buying soft cover. I almost exclusively buy hardcover and um, I'm very particular about how well kept the books are. I don't like to see like cracked spines. I don't like to see folded over pages. Um, so <laughs> I had genuinely offered to buy it myself off of Amazon because I can be very fussy with books and I thought she was initially going to be lending it to me and in the end she's like no you can just keep it I'm like well okay if that's the case I'll do that because I don't like to borrow books and then I have to give them back I'm like no I want to keep them with my bookshelf <laughs> so anyway picked up this one don't know too much about it but here that is good okay I've got 
more stuff to talk about from JoJo's. She had a launch, it was for her like summer launch and I gotta tell you, I actually forgot to order until it was too late to get most of the stuff that I wanted. I was pretty pissed off. Uh, her launch was at like seven o'clock. I didn't set an alarm because I'm a dumb dumb. And at nine o'clock that night, I remembered all of a sudden I was like, no, because I knew that the bulk of her products that I wanted were going to be sold out. And sure enough, every single like colorful rainbow-esque bath bomb that I wanted was gone. I was so mad. I went to bed pissed off at myself that night. Um, so the next morning I woke up and did order some products that were remaining from her site because I did want to support her because I love her stuff. But damn, was I ever pissed off. Anyway, uh, first things first, I got a ton of soaps from her. I love her soaps. They last forever. I'm still working through the first soap that I've tried from her. Um, I've gone back and forth between shower gel and just bar soap recently. And I'm finding that I'm actually enjoying bar soap more recently. So I wanted to pick up even more, which honestly is probably a little bit excessive because I have a ton of her soap still, but she had new scents. So I want to try them out. Uh, the first one here is the Ocean Mist bath bomb, or not bath bomb, handcrafted soap. I'll flip it around so you can see the colors and tilt it a little bit so the, the glare doesn't, you know, stop you from seeing it. So it's like blue, uh, cream, and tan on the bottom. This, I think, is the same scent as the neon ones that she did. It was like pink, orange, and green. Um, so I do like that scent. I'm pretty sure this is the same one. Then she's got the black raspberry and vanilla handcrafted soap. And this one is just a fun freaking swirl. It's like hot pink with uh, purple, black, and white swirls in there. I can't really smell these through the plastic. These are completely sealed up. <laughs> This one was one of the ones that I am the most interested in. It's the Country Lemonade Handcrafted Soap, and it's mostly just like a bright yellow soap, but I love lemonade, like pink lemonade, yellow lemonade, I'm sold. And I'm curious to see what this will actually smell like. She included like a little straw and like, um, these end up being another piece of soap on top. Just a really nice uh, added decoration to the soap. And then I've got one here called Minty Fresh. I still can't smell it. This one's a little bit of a moodier soap, I guess you could say. It's like a blue and black, maybe more of charcoal and white swirls. And this last one I got is actually one that I can smell through the package and it's different. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. This is lemon and lavender. Uh, it mostly just looks like a little bit of an off color yellow shade. Um, Definitely smells like a soap that I've actually bought for my dad like years ago from Crabtree and Evelyn. That's what it reminds me of. I'm curious to see how I'll like this one. And then she had a, like one remaining bath bomb that I wanted to pick up. This was the donut bath bomb. It is uh, smells like zesty bright blend of mandarins, golden oranges, juicy cranberries, and plums. So this is the cranberry mandarin scent that she does repeatedly in different styles. One of my favorite scents. I, I pick it up whenever she's got some sort of bath bomb of that scent because it's fantastic. And then this one is just super cute. It's like a donut with some added, these end up being soaps on top and some bubble frosting. I think that'll probably turn into bubble bath. And then I picked up two more of the Coco Rose bath bombs because these are one of my favorite that she makes. I know they look boring. Like they're just a white bath bomb with this little rosebud on top, but this is one of my favorite scents that she makes and I just wanted to stock up on them. I also picked up uh, the ice cream bubble bar scoops. Uh, this one smells like uh, sweet, juicy Satsuma oranges. I love Satsuma scent. The Satsuma body wash from the body shop is like one of my favorite scents ever. I haven't picked that up in a while. Maybe I should. Um, but I've, I've picked up these bubble scoops from her before. It's like little ice cream scoops in this little cup. Oh yeah, that smells good. There's like a hole in this one so I can smell through it. This is really good. Um, you do not need to pop one of these entire scoops in the bathtub. And in fact, I would encourage you not to because the amount of bubble bath froth that you get from one of these is intense. Cut these in half, throw that in crumbled up and you'll have plenty of bubbles. Throwing a whole one in here, I had too much. Like I was trying to like scoop it in every direction to make sure that it didn't like spill outside of the bathtub. <laughs> it was a bit much. But yeah, you get a lot of bang for your buck with these ones for sure. And then um, this is a very sweet addition that she added to my package. 
As soon as I realized that I had missed the boat on ordering the products that I wanted from her launch, I messaged Jojo saying like, do you have any like hidden backups anywhere? Because I'm inconsolable in the fact that I just missed your launch and I wanted so much from it. And she's like, sorry, I don't really do that, which makes sense. Nobody really had product backup anywhere. I was just like so hopeful that there was something. Um, but she decided to include one of her defective uh, products, which honestly looking at this, I was like, what are you talking about this? You totally could have sold this. There's no defect to it. So let me explain this first. This is the cloud bath bomb. And when you put it in the bathtub, it turns into like a cloud with a rainbow coming out the bottom. And you can see the rainbow colors at the bottom that then like fizz into the bathtub. Now she explained to me that she couldn't sell this because the colors were showing at the bottom. So I assume that normally this pink color covers the bottom. But I'm looking at this thing and thinking it's like absolutely perfect. So she did include this as a freebie um, because it was something that I absolutely wanted to purchase. I just missed the boat on ordering like the pristine ones, I guess. Uh, she is going to be having another launch, I believe in a month's time, and she is going to be launching more of these. So I've already set my alarm for that date, okay? Like I'm not going to miss out on this again. So this was a really kind addition. Uh, when I spotted it, I was like, you're so sweet. Thank you for including this. Okay, moving on to a product that is not that interesting, but I got to mention it because I finally ordered it. <laughs> if you remember in last month's haul, I bought a whole bunch of leave-in hair conditioner um, because I thought I had to hit a $100 threshold to order a certain thing from well.ca. And in that order, I completely forgot to actually order the stuff that I needed. Well, I went ahead and actually ordered the stuff that I needed. <laughs> so this is dermal therapy. It's heel care cream. It is not that interesting, but if you have nasty heels, like heel cracks, heel cracks, this will repair them. So uh, this was the only place that I could find that actually sold them. Normally Walmart is where I would pick it up, but I don't have a car. I'm not driving to a Walmart. I don't actually think I could find it on Walmart's website when I tried looking. The Canadian version of Walmart's website is just awful. I don't like it at all. Anyway, well.ca had it, so I picked up one, two, and then three tubes of it so that I could hit the minimum ship order, which is not $100, like I had previously thought while drunk that uh, one night while ordering all kinds of hair leave-in conditioner. It's like 30 bucks. So I got three different tubes and uh, my heels will be very happy now. Okay, I do have one remaining bath bomb product that uh, is not JoJo's, but it is as a result of not getting the stuff that I wanted initially from JoJo's uh, summer launch. So when I was pissed off at myself, I, w I told my husband about it because I, I was pretty freaking annoyed. I mean, it's bath bombs. How much can I actually care? But listen, emotions are heightened during 2020 and 2021. If I'm gonna get upset over bath bombs, I'm allowed to. Um, but he very kindly went to Amazon to find like some sort of replacement rainbow bath bombs and he found something that's pretty darn close, I think. I mean, I haven't tried the JoJo's one yet, but this was pretty darn close. And I did mention it in my recent empties video, so you would have already seen me talk about this product, uh, but there were two items in there. So I've used one and I've got the other. So this is a rainbow cloud type bath bomb that is very similar to the JoJo's one. It's a white cloud and when you put it in the bathtub, it does the whole rainbow fizzy thing. And honestly, it looked so friggin' cool and smelled so friggin' great. Um, it was just like fizzing all over in the bathtub, just leaving like a rainbow stream behind it. And it was really lovely. And it was nice that he thought to go look for this because I sure didn't I <laughs> think to go look and buy like a cloud rainbow bath bomb anywhere else. But yeah, he got me two of these and I, I just thought it was really nice. And the very last thing I have here is stuff from oats overnight and I just literally want to close the loop on this thing because I've talked to you guys many times before about how this company delivers a great product but their customer service experience is just not good. So the last time I talked about these I believe I mentioned that I had ordered three different kinds of oats overnight and I got sent one kind and the rest of my order was just nowhere to be found basically. So I contacted customer service and I said, you know, like I'm missing two thirds of my order. They're like, sure, no problem. We'll send you out a new package. Don't worry about it. One or two weeks passed. They hadn't sent me tracking and I had to contact them again and say, hey, where's my replacement order for the stuff that you forgot to ship in the first place? And they were like, oh yeah, sorry, here you go. And then they'd sent it out the next day. So they had completely forgotten to send me the replacement package that they had assured me that they would send. 
Guys, I don't know what is wrong with this company, okay? Every interaction I have with them is just they're polite enough, but they can't ever get the orders right. Like, what is going on? Anyway, I have my replacement ones here. So the replacement ones are the birthday cake one. I have eight packets of those. And honestly, that's like my favorite one. This one is so friggin' good. Um, it's such a delight to have a birthday cake smoothie in the morning okay it's great and then the other one I got and honestly I'm a little bit skeptical I don't know why I got this because I don't think I'm actually gonna like it it's the pumpkin spice version of oats overnight I really like the peanut butter cacao crunch one so I guess I thought maybe this would be somewhat similar but the more I think about having a pumpkin spice smoothie the more I'm actually grossed out so I I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this um, but yeah, so I got the pumpkin spice one. If there's one I could recommend completely though, it is the birthday cake one with the peanut butter crunch one as a good solid second. Um, so yeah, I mean, I keep ordering from this company even though they kind of keep like screwing me over. <laughs> Which honestly is just a little bit ridiculous. Like I should just give up and move on. In fact, I think somebody left a comment uh, on one of my videos saying like, well, you could just make your own. Look, I don't know how to make birthday cake overnight oats okay like no clue no idea whatsoever um i probably could look into it but man i i just i don't have that kind of patience frankly anyway so that's my most recent update on what happened with my oats overnight order i have everything now will i order from again probably is it going to screw up a third time probably so that's my most recent experience with oats overnight uh, and as an interesting segue because the reason i got into oats overnight was because of christine from simply neological I actually ordered some Simply Nail Logical Hollow Taco uh, nail polishes. She's starting to really sucker me with some of these uh, collections. <laughs> um, I got four shades from one of her more recent collections. I think there were five colors in it, but one of them was a pink and I was like, mm, I'm not really about that life. So I can't remember what the name of the collection is, but these are the, I'm gonna have to open it to figure out what the finish is. Um, it's that like, rainbow colored polish oh, what's the name on it is it really not on the bottle crap um i think they're the linear holographic polishes but it doesn't say on the bottle which is kind of annoying i just have the name on it um so i i picked up her rainbow collection from last year i picked up the pastel rainbow collection this year and they're gorgeous they're some of my favorite polishes in my collection right now um the amount of rainbow reflect that you get off of the nail polish in the sunlight is unbelievable the colors are fantastic so when she launched another one i was like okay well i guess i'm suckered into that one too so i didn't like all of the colors but i liked most of them so i picked up the four shades that i did enjoy so let me pull those out of the box so i've got four of the colors uh from the recent collection the first one is called electrostatic and it is it's gonna be hard to see a black holographic polish um it's got more of a cool tone i think she said purple edge to it um and unfortunately ring light not in day it's daylight right now you're never gonna see how cool these polishes look like on camera right now but rest assured that i am so smitten with these ones so i was interested in a black rainbow one and then she had this one called hydro power which is a little bit of a brighter blue the blues that i have tend to be either quite intense or a little bit leaning towards purple so this one seemed to be like an actual true blue so that one was nice and then i've got this really like luminescent green one uh this is called full charge and it's it's green but i guess it's got more of a lime tilt to it so i'm, I'm a big sucker for anything chartreuse or lime colored so i wanted that one and then the other one um is called circuit breaker and this one's just gonna look like a silver on camera but this is like another holographic as they all are uh polished this one just has a silver edge and i've mentioned before that the one shade that i always wear on my toenails is like a silver rainbow glitter type holographic polish and this seems to be like the linear smooth version of it um and again it's so disappointing how you just can't see any of this on camera but like in daylight these are some of the most astounding polishes ever i mean they're a little bit pricey like 14 bucks a bottle but i think opi is like that cost too so like honestly the quality of these is fantastic and the longevity is good too no complaints and 
honestly I don't really need more nail polish but I was kind of suckered in when I saw her video of these so I picked them up I just avoided the hot pink because I, I wasn't in the hot pink one all right so that's gonna be it for my haul for the month of June thanks so much for joining me take care stay safe and I will see you next time bye <laughs>